Hi guys, we're on Ice. I'm Ray. I'm Gerard. I'm Julian. I'm Alex. And we're here with a Patreon request to watch a classic movie that came out back in what's it came out? Eighty nine. Eighty nine for that. This is called Feel the Dreams. <laughs> and, 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 this is one of those movies that I've had opportunities to watch. Uh, uh, over the years, and I never came around to watch it. One that I would do want to watch because I'm a, I'm a huge baseball fan. Like I love baseball, um, but I've never seen this movie. You know, uh, have you seen this movie? I have not seen the movie. You said uh-huh. I saw it back in elementary school, and I barely remember most of it. I just remember a few of the actors. That's it. Have you seen this movie? Not at all. Okay, well, I'm assuming some of you guys do like baseball a little bit. You know? Hardball oh, and the Sandlot. I need a third <laughs> one. This might be my third one. We'll see. Sandlot was great. But uh, this is uh, Kevin Costner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ray Liotta, may he rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, and is there somebody else in there that, that we Bert should? Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster? Okay. Kevin, er- uh, James Earl Jer- Jones. Really? Oh, really? Okay. Uh, he was in the Sandlot. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I don't know much about this movie. I didn't even see a trailer. I just know that, I know last year there was a baseball game with the Yankees. I forgot who I don't know, then the White Sox. And they were playing a game called Field of Dreams. And they were playing in this big giant cornfield. Oh, that, that, was was like, cool. that was a major league baseball game that I, I didn't watch. I saw the highlights. I didn't even <laughs> watch the whole game. I was too busy doing something else. But uh, we're looking forward to watching this. Uh, so uh, let's get right to it. Yep. Got it. My father's name was John Kinsella. Very quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. Died a lot the following summer when eight members of the team were accused yeah. of throwing that series. I know the story. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, <laughs> and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> and when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. The only thing we had in common was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. <laughs> oh my God! I got married in June of '74. Dad died that fall. Oh my oh. gosh! A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. He wants, to become, said, he wants to become uh, a baseball player. I told uh, you. I, I, I called I'm it. Getting the feels. I called it. I'm ready. I feels. told you. This is good. I felt emotional vibes. I almost cried at the intro just now. <laughs> what do you say? Until I heard the voice? Until I heard the voice that I did something crazy. If you build it, you will come. Oh, if you build it, if it will you build come. it, you will come. Annie, what was that? What was that? That voice just now. What was it? We didn't hear anything. That's so weird. You need medication, Dad. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, we're not going to that cornfield. I'm never coming back. Kids are in the radio? Nope. What did it say? If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? He didn't say. I hate it when that happens. Me too. Oh my god. <laughs> is that milk blue? Is this a side thing? It's a horror, obviously. <laughs> build what? I mean, it, it does feel kind of spooky. Mm-hmm. It's okay, honey. I'm, I'm just talking to the cornfield. Listen, if I owned a farm filled with corn and I'm hearing voices. Well, anyway, I was walking down along the street and I, I heard this voice saying, the post. Why did you do that? It was funny. Trust me, Aww. it was not funny. I got some errands to do in town. Far out. <laughs> what if the voice calls while you're gone? Take a message. You hearing voices? No, no, no. It's just that I heard that some farmers do and I, of course, don't, so I... Who's hearing voices? Oh boy. Oh boy. No, I'm not. <laughs> We're getting on Uh-oh. it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> He's getting crazy. Yeah, that darn tractor, mm-hmm. uh, I'm just going to get some three-in-one oil, and that ought to do They look like really judgmental. <laughs> Everybody Everybody, stopped. Stopped, right? It's like, oh, we're going to have a murder case sooner <laughs> or later. <laughs> All right, that's yeah, it. I was gonna say. Oh, who are you, huh? What do you want from me? Oh, oh baseball! Uh, oh, hey, well, that give me goosebumps just now. <laughs> just give me goosebumps. Right there, perfect. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of money, guys. No, I can't do this. Yeah, but like right in front of the house, though. Field of dreams, huh? You're supposed to 
calls this like acid flashback or anything, do you? Acid <laughs> flashback? I never took acid. Well, maybe it was something. It's like a flash forward. Definitely not <laughs> good. I think it means that I might build a baseball field. Shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're kidding. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. I know it's totally nuts. But if his wife supports him, she's a real one. He's still dead. As far as I know. He's still dead. <laughs> Jesus. Are you actually thinking of doing this? No. I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. I never forgave him for getting old. By the time he was old as I am now, he was ancient. Annie, I'm afraid of that happening to me. Do you think I'm crazy? Yes. Come on, baby, I got you. If you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. Come on, baby. Hey, She's a real on. one. That's what I'm Come talking on. about. Come on. That's a good real one. Good yep. for them. Good for them. You know what? That baby's lonely. Need another child real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Let's pack this house up real quick. <laughs> I think it's gonna bring the town together. This is awesome. Imagine building a field. I would feel bad about having to cut all that corn down before harvest. But not I mean, if he's doing it for his dad. I mean, by the way, it's it, it's it, it feels like he doesn't have. It's there's no closure with what he had with. By the way, dad. that's a big piece of land that he's gonna have to. Yep. Yes. Yep. Bought a new pair of spikes and they hurt his feet. So about the sixth inning, he took them off and played the rest of the game in just a sock. There's, no, there's really no movie in town, no movie theater, and nothing. No library. People are gonna go crazy. She brought a chair out. People are gonna go crazy. Bro, in that town, anybody, ch anything changes? Chicago White Sox, they threw the World Series. What's through? Which means they lost it on purpose. Explain the fact that he hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one error, huh? I can't. By the way, he's building with us before Amazon. So yeah, yeah, he picked he's all of the far everything. to get the equipment. <laughs> Dad used to say nobody could hit like shoeless Joe. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. Oh wow! We're gonna end up crying in this one, guys. <laughs> I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. Am I completely nuts? Good That's dope. Yo, bye, bye. That's dope, bro. That's dope. Something's gonna happen out there. Listen, think about the reality of this. That's a crazy move it just pulled off. No, <laughs> the amount of money he must have sunk into that. I'm saying. Then again, this is back in the '60s. So how bad is it? Mm -hmm. Well, almost break even. When she says break even, that means there's no profit, right? It's no just, profit, but there's gonna, no loss either. They're gonna make it. They're, they're gonna live. You can't keep the field. Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Daddy. In a minute, Karen. Uh oh. There's a man out there in your lawn. It's shoeless Joe. Stop it. Are you thinking oh, so? That better not be it. That better, better not be a spoiler. It, 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 I, I honestly right don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I'm just assuming. Well, the guy did say it might be shoeless Joe either it, way. He's dead. Oh, I didn't remember. I haven't seen this movie in forever. Stop it. Stop. That's creepy, though. That is creepy. That's creepy. Uh, I'm going out there with a shotgun. That's how you know this is a movie, because every farmer would have a shotgun. I wonder why this particular field, like, why it had to be here. Is this where he grew up? Like, he was hearing the voice here, why I moved. Is it just him? It happened to be in this field, but he was there, or is this field in particular? So you might want to turn those back off. I mean, you just broke even. You might have spent more money here with the lights. <laughs> that electric bill's going through the roof. Oh. Uh, really, dude? Yeah, you had one moment. One moment. He's going to walk away now, but forget it. Sorry. I, I get some out there. There you go. Ooh. 
He's hitting some he's mitts. Done, he's done another baseball. He's done two baseball moves in after this. That it's good to be playing again, huh? Getting thrown out of baseball was like having part of me amputated. Why did he get mm. thrown out of baseball in the first place? Can you pitch? Yeah. He's like a little boy. He yeah, he's fanning like, out. He's looking at his, like one of his idols. Oh, he's gonna hit some home runs right now. Look at him. He's yeah. Don't we need a catcher? Not if you get it near the plate, we don't. <laughs> what a dope feel, bro. Seriously. I am pitching to Shoeless Joe Jackson. It's a light. <laughs> Out. Oh my god. Home run. Oof. Nice hit. Banger. Banger. Dude, Lord. Hey, good for Kevin Costner. I mean, throw it over the, over the, over the plate. See if you can hit my curve. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you ever doubt him again. Put one right here, huh? Right. You're a low ball hitter. And then I just love this game. And it was the crowd rising to their feet, and the ball was hit deep. A play for nothing. It's my family. What's with the lights? Makes it harder to see the ball. Yeah, well, the owners found that more people could attend night games. Owners. <laughs> Still like that today. Oh, no, he can't walk out. He, he can't, he can't yeah. the field. He can't walk out. Are you a ghost? Yeah. What do you think? You look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Would you like to come inside? I don't think I can. Can I come back again? I built this for you. There are others, you know. It really mean a lot to them. They're all welcome here. Back in the day, I don't know exactly what year, there were uh, eight White Sox players who were paid off by the Mafia to lose the World Series. When it was found out, they were banished from baseball. Is this heaven? <laughs> no. <Sweet>. It's Iowa. <laughs> We're keeping this field. You bet your ass. You're going to lose your farm, pal. The stupid baseball field's going to bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. Hey, there's it, guys. The whole team. Can <laughs> <laughs> they... If they get two play two more players, they can play a full game. Are some of these like Hall of Famers? Or... No, I remember they they got banished. You know, they were real players. They were really good. I mean, they were great at what they were doing. They were one of the World Series, but they had to lose. So, so how come they couldn't play again? I'm sorry, I was answering. Too because they cheated. They was they lost on purpose in the World Series because the Mafia paid them to lose. Got you. Stick it in your ear, Dan Dill. Yeah, Dan Dill. If you'd have run like that against Detroit, I'd have won 20 games that year. Mm. <laughs> Muscle bound shirt. Oh, yeah? At least I got muscles. No, at most you got muscle. Come on, asshole. Pitch. Weaver. Sorry, kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's so sweet. So where are the people in town? No, no one showing up in town to watch this? Can they, can they see them? Well, that's true, too. Can they? No, that is, that is the question. Mom and everybody's leaving now. So I thought you two were going to watch some game. I don't think so. Because it's not really a game. It's more like a practice. Yep, they can't see them. Eight, eight of what? Well, you don't see them? Karen, honey, uh, what are you watching? The baseball man. To try to make other people feel stupid. Really? What, what is she even talking about? You don't see these people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that she's laughing at it, though. She's like, <laughs> You get a whole baby little against your yourselves. Thing. This is really interesting. Wow, bro. Ray, dinner! Ray, dinner, dinner, Ray! <laughs> See you guys. That is so awesome. This yep. is so awesome. That, that. I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> what a clown. What? I didn't understand. What? Ease his pain. Ease his pain, yeah. Whose pain? His father? Thanks a lot. 
things for my comeback to actually play baseball. I used to be able to have a full team. Yeah, they're not going to mention his father a lot of times for no reason. His father played, his father played a little bit, isn't he? He tried this, this movie, he tried to. This movie's giving me, like, um, City of Gods vibe. Like, Sh- City of God? Like the Brazilian movie? A uh, City of Angels. City of Angels. What happened to you? The voice is bad. Oh, Lord. You don't have to build a football field now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's who's paying. Shoeless Joe's? One of the other players. I don't think so. Ray, uh, this is a very non-specific voice you have out there, and he's starting to piss me off. Filth like, like this has, has no, no place, place in our, our schools. schools. Uh, uh, if anybody thinks books deserve to be banned, then they're just stupid. <laughs> it's hardly smart. Novel about the 1960s. It's pornography. A Pulitzer Prize winner. He's a pervert. He's probably a communist, too. What is going on? I found the farm. Okay, now. Godlessness. The mongrelization of the races. Right-thinking school boards have been banning this man, S-H-I-T, since 1969. Because he masturbates. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what's going on? Are you, are you kidding me? You're joking. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love. I experienced the 60s. I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good for her. Plowed under his corn and build a baseball field. Okay, so? The weirdo. <laughs> Annie. Honey, it's all right. I'll be cool. He is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. Oh! oh! Uh! Horse's ass in three counties. Do you want to step outside? Fine! Catch me outside! Okay. How about oh, that? Oh, oh! Who wants to burn books? Spit on the Constitution of the United States of America, anybody? Mm. Mm. She brought that. Freedom is a pretty darn good thing. Come on, come Nobody on, let's see those hands. Yes, sir. Stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin. It's not today. America, I love you. I'm proud of you. Annie, I mean it. Annie, what? We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just figured it out. I know. <laughs> I know whose pain it is. I'm supposed to eat. I don't know. I just know. I mean, but what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? character that man created 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father. Recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field. I still dream that dream. That's sad. They're housing projects right now over there in Brooklyn. And there's, like, there's, a, there's a sign there that says this used to be Ebbets Field. Or something like that. You're supposed to take him to a ball game. Yes. It's pretty weird, I'll grant you, but building a field, that was weirder. I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score and eating I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. <laughs> I'll help you pack. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! This is such a crazy story, though. I oh, love their relationship! What is going on? Oh, when they're driving! You need to I had, a, the six I had a dream that you were on the set of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I had the same dream! Let's go! Who's gonna go? <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Man? I have to take you to a basement. How do you pull it off? Hands up and get in the trunk. <laughs> I don't know where he leaves to get away from me. <laughs> Two blocks down, right hand side. First door that don't have a chicken in the window is his. What about the bell? <laughs> that flushed his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. You came a long way. You can't give up. Now, come on. Go back. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Oh, wait. Wait. All I'm asking is one minute. One minute. Good Lord, look at the system. And the universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Oh, my God. You're from the 60s. Oh, hey. Back to the 60s. Wait back. a second. <laughs> if changed. Yes, I suppose I have. Get the hell out of here! 
Don't give up. Go back, boy. Don't walk down the... Nope. Come on. Go back. Oof. Personally, I would have walked out. I would have said a couple bad things. He left his door open. At this point, you trespass. I got a gun. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You really pissed me off. Okay, just hold it. Right there. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do it this way. It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I'm going to beat you with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. There are rules here? Oh no, there are no rules here. <laughs> You're a pacifist! Shit! <laughs> I got it! He, he called me! forgot about it. He called me out! Take you to a baseball game. You what? You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> I swear to God, I am the least crazy person I have ever known. Then why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? It's a long story. But it's a really good story. If you just come to this game with me, I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Not even, not even a Christmas card. <laughs> I did it. That's crazy. This I is crazy. Did You're a pacifist. <laughs> Damn it. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers. No, I meant, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. That boy went deep. You got a hot dog. Yeah, there you go. Should be entitled to as much privacy as you want, but why stop writing? I haven't published a word in 17 years, and still I have to endure lunatics like you. What do you think would happen if I suddenly came out with a new book? Go the distance. Go the distance? He's gonna get arrested. The New York Giants. What's the matter? No. You didn't see that? See what? I'm sorry, I guess you didn't have to be here. Fine, let's go. What? It's weird. This. What's happening right now? What is going on? Why did he have to be with... Why? Do we, what, why? what is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. No, now you're curious. You took, my, you took part of my day? Mm -hmm. I'm curious. You gotta tell me what's going on. You got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. Said the man's done enough. He's lying. What? Jesus! Oh! Oh, he saw it! Did you hear the voice, too? It's all right to admit it. It's what told me to find you. Did you Did you hear it? Go the distance. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. What? I must be out of my mind. What do we do? What do we, what do, we do when we find him? How the hell am I supposed to know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so bitchin'. This is crazy. He's so bitchin'. This is insane. You know what? It's like an adventure, though. This is crazy. She's in the car and go. Hey, Annie, guess what? I'm with Terrence Mann. Oh, my God. You kidnapped him. Look, Ann, I gotta go, okay? Someday explain all this to me, okay? We should be looking. Why didn't you tell him? Annie, you got no choice in the matter. Is that her brother or something? Follow me. Oh, Trying to take the kid away because he maybe created anything. Listen, if you ever do that, nor if I ever do this if, and this, and we're on an adventure, anything, I right? know to go. Right. I think his nickname was Moonlight. Well, that stopped Graham. His uh, baseball career never amounted to much, so he went back to school. He died in 1972. Yet no child was ever denied these essentials, because in the background there was always Dr. Graham. Well, the ticket to the ball game found their way into the child's pocket. You're a good writer. So are you. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure he hasn't re heard that in a long time. He always wore an overcoat, and he always carried an umbrella. Do you know you're missing? Notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. Shoot. What did I tell him? What do you say? What, what do you say, really? How do you answer a big Listen, fat lie? Yes. I, mean, I went for a ride. I would have said something along the lines of like I found my passion again. Is he looking at old? Yeah, he went back in time. This year's. Is he gonna kidnap this man from the past? Are you Moonlight Graham? 
No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Do you mind if I join you? Let's walk over to my office. Did he see this coming? It was like having this close to your dreams. And I watched them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. You know, we just don't recognize the most significant moments of our lives while they're happening. There'll be other days. I didn't realize that that was the only day. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa to talk to me about it 50 years after it happened? Ooh. If you could have a, a wish. And are you the kind of a man who could grant me that wish? To stare down a big league pitcher. To stare him down and just as he goes into his wind up, quick, make him think you know something he does. To feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. To run the bases and flop face first into third. That's my wish, Rick and Silla. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. No. Consider it a tragedy. Son, if I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. Maybe we're not supposed to take him with us. If you gotten a hit, I might have stayed in baseball. I talked to the bank. And I asked them if we could miss a payment or two. If we don't sell to them, they're gonna foreclose. Isn't that family? Really? I'm going to Iowa with you. Mmm. That's a real adventure right there. We're coming home. There's something big. It's, guys, I'm not ready. What is going on? Not everyone can see it. Give it a try. Who is this? I need all the Carmike and Kit right now. Who is this? Is that the guy who told him where he was? How far are you going? Iowa. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. Ooh. Hop in. Is that no, no, man? No, 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 yes, no. Yes, sir. That's not him. Yeah. Stop it. Moonlight. No. I heard that all through the Midwest, they have towns with teams. They'll even find you a day job so you can play ball nights and weekends. I'm Archie Graham. Hey. hey. Yes, sir. God, this movie's weird and good at the same time. So true. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. American boy refusing to have a catch with his father? Yeah, Why 14? That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with I, your father. <laughs> Anyway, when I was 17, I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Made it back to the funeral. I have that again up here. I mean, at some point, I guess. To your father. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Then why did you say it? I was 17. Damn teenagers. Son of a bitch died before I could take it back. This is your penance. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is, except mine. Mm. The field? Yep. The things I'm confused about is how come, you know, Moonlight can walk out or be out of range, unlike the other ones. I have so many questions. Yeah. This is Archie Graham. He's coming to practice with the team. Yeah, well, he's going to be able to do a lot more than that. What? More guys showed up? No! Yep. I see different uniforms. The Red Sox. The Red Sox? I saw Cardinals. Hey, this is oh, Cardinals. Welcome back. Is that a Yankee? Did I just hear Yankee? Thanks, Joe. Oh, my God. What? That's Shooter's Joe Jackson. Oh, my God. I'd like you to meet Shoeless Joe Jackson. Joe? Terry Mann. You wouldn't believe how many guys wanted to play here. And we had to beat them off with a stick. And Ty Cobb wanted to play. Ty Cobb. He stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> you came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. Rookies. <laughs> His first at bat. He looks like a baby out there. Oh. <laughs> Hey! 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 <laughs> hey, Knuckles, what are you throwing the kid for? He winked at me. <laughs> yeah. 
Watch out you don't get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, those first two were high and tight. So what do you think the next one's gonna be? Loan away. Need a loan away? Ooh, Burn my call. ear. He's not gonna wanna load the bases. Good call. So look for low and away. Ah, good call, father. Right, they don't they don't know Come baseball. on, man. Who are you talking to? Good call. Safe. Hey. In an RBI. Yep. This is the Where does this dude want that that farm so bad? Time to put all your little fantasies and come down to earth. It's not a fantasy, Mark. They're real. You mean? No, I can't. Can't see any of it. Well, who's this? As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Right, listen. We need to. <laughs> you can what, live on it rent-free as long as you want. What about the baseball? Field? Right. You realize how much this land is worth? They don't give a damn about you, and they're ready to foreclose right now. Daddy, we don't have to sell the farm. She knows something. Oh, don't you talk don't to you my daughter like that? Boy. Aren't you ever there? She knows something. People will come, so they'll drive up and want to pay us, like buying a ticket. Why would anybody pay money to come here? To watch the game. It will be just like when they were little kids. What the hell is she talking about? We got no choice. Ray. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. It's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. Ray. Just sign the papers. They'll find they have reserved seats and cheered their heroes. And it'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters. You sell now or you lose everything. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. This game, it reminds us of all that once was good and it could be again. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. You will be evicted. Leave my property, Roasty. Not signing. Oh. And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your hands off. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would have. Oh! oh! Are you crazy? Should I get the car? Right now, you pay for this farm. Oh my oh. god. Anyway. Oh, he's a doctor. Can you leave now? Just wait. Oh, if he takes that step, he won't be able to go back into baseball. That decision. That decision he had to make. What do we got here? She fell. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it steady now. Hot dog. Stuck in her throat. Oh, the big piece? Thank you, Doc. No, son. Thank you. Oh, God, you can't go back. I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. He got his at bat, though. Good work, Doc. How's it going, Doc? Don't miss you, Doc. Wouldn't work for me one day, will you, boy? I'm going to start crying, bro. Oh, God. My eyes are getting watery, bro. When did these ball players get here? Hey, rookie! You were good. Do not sell this farm, Ray. Oh, shut you up. You gotta keep this farm. <laughs> Dang it, Alex. What are you gonna call it? I, I, what are you gonna call it, man? Tore me up. Come on. Tore me you up. You have to do that. Oh, my gosh. Look, you still you still should punch him in the face. For I would have killed him. Did to her, I would have killed kid? him. We're gonna call it a day. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? Yeah. Wait, does that mean I'm gonna die? No, not you. Him. What is out there? Come and find out. 
Hundred what... cats. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. But you're not invited. Mm. That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. Ray, what are you saying, Ray? I'm saying, what's in it for me? Is that why you did this? There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. But well, you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. Well, you lied to me. You said your finger was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> there is something out there, Ray. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. You better tell me what you see when you come back. Harry's been invited to go out with the other players. How you feeling, sweetheart? Stupid. I want a full description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care of this family. Don't forget any details. Don't leave out any details. <laughs> I hope he didn't die. I hope he did. Yeah, I hope he comes hopes. back. I hope Could he you didn't die. Stop. And they're gonna find his corpse in the cornfield. Stop. You know, honestly, you know? I'm glad that her brother's not gonna be a pain. Good anymore. fertilizer, though. Oh, I hate her brother still. Yeah. What are you grinning at, you ghost? If you build it, he will come. Mm, his father? Is that his dad? That's his dad. It's my father. Ease his pain. Go the distance. My God. What do I say to him? I'm John Kinsella. My wife, Annie. This is my daughter, Karen. Hi, John. Well... We're gonna let you two talk. So beautiful here. For me, well, for me, it's like a dream come true. Can I ask you something? Is this heaven? It's Iowa. Is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. Maybe this is heaven. Good night, Ray. Good night, John. Look, a very firm handshake, didn't it? He didn't want to let go. Hey, Dad? You wanna have a catch? I'd like that. Is this the second time you're gonna cry over a game of catch? I'm gonna cry. They coming. They coming. Oh dear lord. Oh my goodness. Wow, so Judge. good. Dang it. So good. I think he did die in the field. Uh God, that was good. <sighs> And Alex, why did you Ooh. have to call it that this was going to be a, I just had a feel oh sad my movie? God. I just oh, had a feel dear like, Lord. You guys feel sad about that? I'm not sad. No, I feel It brought the happiness out of it, but it's just more, not sadness. It's it emotional. It's like happy tears. Exactly. It's it was pretty much just an emotional I feel scene fulfilled. itself. Oh, man, that was such a good movie. A good feel-good movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, the whole time I'm thinking, like... Um, how many people would like give up anything to go back in time and play catch their dad one more time? Those you know who had that opportunity, those who did remember that had. I like, remember playing catch with my father as well. You know, again, I was a kid, and I don't know like, if, I, if I can do it right now. I, I mean, it'd be great. It would be great. So I wonder how many people who seen this movie had that same thought. Like, you know, I would like to go back and do that again. You know, my dad and him feeling the fact that. He he denied his father this 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 this, uh, this day of playing catch or whatever it was. He turned him down and he you know ease that pain. This was really good. Crazy though this movie was. It's so many. This story. So many theories. It's like it's okay. all over. It's yeah. it's like okay, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What's going on? It doesn't make sense. And then at the end you're like, you know what? I was satisfied. Dude, it, I have so much to say. I don't even know where to start. So one of you, I think, one of you guys gotta go before me because I, I gotta wrap in, this up. In all honesty, like I said earlier before, it's like I feel like this movie ends up bringing in an aspect of like theories of 
like us calling the events like oh this will be interesting if that happened or fulfilling it um i'm not sure if i agree with you about if a lot a lot of things didn't make sense Yes, of course, the, the whole random voice well, and everything like that. Came, it it, 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 it all came together at the end. Yeah, no, correct, correct. But I'm saying, like. But while you're watching it, you're like. <laughs> correct. But, on? like, I felt like, of course, you know, the voice and the whole message just popping out out of nowhere and only specific people being able to hear it. That, like, for example, the one thing that doesn't make sense is, like, what made people actually be able to see it and what made people not be able to see the players in the field. But other than that, it's like where this theories comes in that it could be there's I don't think there's a wrong answer to a lot of these questions in this movie. No, I I think okay, listen, I think that it doesn't matter what the 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 match like what is. made it happen. What the exactly magic is is correct. not what makes is what is not the problem. Mm-hmm. It's not what we're looking at. You know, we're, we're so used to looking at sci-fi and like everything needs to have an explanation. Everything needs to like everything needs to fit into a, 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 a certain logical. Yeah. And this was not logical. This was on the feels level of emotions, and 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 fulfilling those. You know, getting that feeling of it's about feelings. Yeah. You know, it's more about feelings than it is about logic. It, it, it didn't have to come to a conclusion where it had to make sense, but it made sense in the heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I, there, I think you that know, was it made sense in the that. heart where. The, the doctor did not come, but on the way here, he's a he kid made, you picked up. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. But then when you see what happened in the field with him, and he coming to the doctor, that, choice. that connection, like, okay, wow, okay, that, that, I understand that. That, that. that feels right. I got so emotional watching that, too. Watching him step away. And, that, yeah, that. And he said, don't worry about it. Thank you. Like, I th- thank you for doing this. And that, that, that moment and, was the same moment for me. I'm not going to lie. And the players. And was the same moment. Telling him thank you as he walked out, uh, and telling him yeah. he did a good job, and he still walked out of yeah. the doctor into the field. Yeah, and, and like that, that makes if you, sense. If you dissect it, right? If you dissect the film, if you're like, okay, so um, he's hearing these voices about I have to build this field, right? And he'll come. So he builds a baseball field. And then he starts seeing um, all the baseball players coming out, and you, we get a little bit of their background. You know, like why was this special to you, right? Then. It's easy to paint. So he goes to Terry, right? This old writer who, you know, doesn't write anymore. And he wants privacy and things like that, right? And he's going through something in his life. He comes back, meets Archie, brings him with him. So every, he touched, along the way, he touched a lot of people, um, you know, that had dreams and, and, and maybe things that they were not able to do. So it was just not just him. Um, and I think that's why the movie wraps up like that. What about all these people that are going to come back and be like, you know what? I get to see something that probably, um, I haven't seen in a very long time. Something that maybe moved me when I was younger. Um, but Terry, Archie, uh, every single one of them, they, they were all touched by, yeah. by Ray. Yeah. You know? And, and what, what I, I know, it made me also think about like all those guys who, they didn't have the opportunity to play, or at least not make the they, they they train all their lives. They they whole you play baseball all the time, and they just like he mentioned before, were just this far from getting to that dream of theirs. And how many guys are doing that today? How, and, and any sport, you know, how many people who, uh, who train super hard to be playing professional basketball, and then what happens? Something happens in their lives that they cannot. They have to give up on that dream. Mm-hmm. Or in football or boxing or anything like that. You know, train all their lives. This is their dream. They, but they're going to make it there. They made it to the minors. They got, they, they made it to the pros and played one or two games. And then, you know, that was I, it. And that, that whole dream is gone. I think a very underlying, like, theme of this movie is, like, um, appreciating every single little moment, you know. Um, because even when he looks at, uh, Archie, and he's like, if you had one wish, what was it? And it was just, if you look at his dream, it was just, I I just, just, just one, one, one at bat, touch third base, you know, look at a picture in his eye, like even it, it was tiny, you know, like a t- well, just a moment. It, that that would take if you, his wish was a moment. I want, I want that moment. That's what I well, want. Even Bob, Bob, Bob's dream mm-hmm. was to go back and play catch with his father. 
Uh, it's just and a moment. And he got to fulfill that in the field. It's a moment in time. It's, it's a, that, it's a that moment. And I guess what it is. We don't appreciate these small things that deep down inside we earn, we, 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 uh, we want, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That we want to accomplish. And I did, I, this, I think it wrapped up pretty beautifully for what it was. This is, this is great. Fantastic, mm-hmm. honestly. You know, I, I feel like if you asked me right now, if you had a, if you had a wish and, and what it I probably started crying. You get you. Oh, uh, that's this, a different show. That's, that's, yeah, that's a, different, a diff, diff, different video. It's a moment, <laughs> man. It's, it's it's the small moments that sometimes li- sometimes life moves a little bit too fast, and you you know um, you don't realize all the the little things that happen throughout your day, and um, it, it just shows you. For some people, wishes and dreams is just moments. And man, if I can go back and and ride a bike again, or like you should see these, these moments in time. Um, it, it, it's such a great movie. This was who who recommended this? Uh, Thomas Confarno. My God, Thomas, Tom, it's Amazing. your fault. We're crying here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Julian, you're the one to blame. Julian, you saw this as a kid. Do you remember yes. money of it? You probably didn't, you, you, it probably I, didn't make sense to you back then. You know, I I remember why I didn't remember, and it was because I was having a lot of family family issues. So I remember I hated this movie. I I don't exactly remember which reason it was. But I remember I just could not appreciate this movie. But now, you know, growing up, coming to terms with things, moving forward and everything, I I really respect this movie and I really like it. I really love it. This is, I, 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 I'm glad we saw this together, you know, and I'm glad you you, you, you like this film. Uh, it was really good. I mean, it, again, strange in many ways. Oh, if absolutely. You, if, if the very beginning, you know, when he's in the corner, he's like, I can't believe it. You know, and, and, and mm-hmm. What is going on? It's a hard. I didn't expect this movie to t- take this this type of turn, and I'm glad it did. I'm glad it did. I think this movie was uh, 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 as weird as it was. Again, it was very fulfilling. It's really, it's really joyful. And if you're a baseball fan like I am, I'm a huge baseball fan. Uh, even though, if you, even if you're not a baseball fan, I think you can enjoy this movie for what it is. But if more so, if you're a baseball fan, and and, and you know you understand the game. Uh, I do know uh, uh, that, that this movie was the basis to to uh, what MLB did last year. Uh, well, they did they did they they, re- they remade this part, this field. You know, let me see if I can just bring up something here. That way, you guys can see at least maybe a little bit of the opening, mm-hmm. and you can see what they did because they 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 had redid this. No way. Yeah, I'm saying they, they have redid this. Let me see if I can get something up here. Maybe a short video to it. The, the whole game. But, um, well, anyway, I'll put it up. It, it, it'll be a small a small clip, maybe. See, they have Kevin Costner. Bring it up. Let me get my headphones back on. No way, dude. That's our boy, though. Aaron Judge right there. <laughs> wow. But how cool is this? Yeah. So they went back to Iowa to make this field with the cornfield and had a game here. And I think they said they want to do this at least once a year. Or two. Look at the cornfield. All right, we'll leave it at that. But how cool is that? Wow. How cool is that? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad they did that. And I hope they do it again, you know. But I, I'm sure the people in Iowa were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to that game. I'm definitely checking out that game. By the way, the Yankees lost. What an incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I sucked that the Yankees lost that game. What an but, incredible. What an incredible film that was, man. Yeah, and, and, and a really good hats off, you know, uh, homage to the movie, what they did here. So, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Thomas, I want to thank you for recommending this movie. Uh, guys, I hope you like what we're doing. I hope you enjoyed this reaction with us, guys. If you like what we're doing, we have a Patreon page. We have a merch channel. Matter of fact, if you look down underneath the video, you're going to see some merchandise there. If you want to support us, that will be great. And it will help us out to continue to grow and continue doing movies like this and other TV shows. Uh, if you have any uh, feelings or thoughts about the movie and our reaction, please leave it in the comment section, guys. 
Who's that shit, guys? We are RNA Jam. I'm Ray. I'm Gerard. I'm Julian. I'm Alex. Guys, take care. Didn't hang out with us. We'll see you soon. Peace. This is heaven.